So this question is a diagram question. We provide it with two diagrams. The first one is a graph. This graph is of y equals f of x. And the second is a table. And this table is uh, x versus g of x. Okay. The information says the complete graph of the function f all right, so it's complete, meaning it doesn't continue on in any in the other directions here. It is, we, it is what it is, right? The complete graph of f and a table of values for the function g, right? So the complete graph of f is there. The table of values for the function g is obviously there, are shown above. The maximum value of f is k. All right, so what does that mean? The maximum value of f. Well, where is the maximum value of f? Well, it's right here. That is the maximum value of f. And if that maximum value is equal to k, then we know that, hey, the max value here is, it's three. That's as high up or as far up as the f graph or curve goes. So this is telling me that k is equal to three. Then we have, what is the value of g of k? Okay, so we take this 3 from here, and now we're going over to here where g is. So g of x is going to turn into g of k, but that's going to turn into g of 3 because we know that k is equal to 3. So when I look at my g of x column here, g of x, right, I say, well, hey, if I want g of 3, that means I need to figure out, well, what's happening to, like, this g of 3, and I'm going to just take my time with this, g of 3 equals the g of x value when x equals 3. So a lot of students make the mistake of not understanding that all this is is substitution, right? If I have a 3 here instead of an x, I'm just asking, well, what's the answer when x when x is equal to 3? So if I go to my x column, I see, well, hey, here's where x is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 3, g of x is equal to 6, which means that g of 3 is equal to 6. Okay? And that means that our correct answer here is choice 